welcome to Violet Connie Art. I have a scroller box here today. I'm very excited it came in the post today. I'm going to try and film this with the voiceover while I open the box. So let's see what's inside. This is the August box. So first of all, have a little strawberry lolly with some tissue paper. Always want to be so careful when I open this. <gasps> what is this? This looks very cool. All right, it. Oh, how does it open? Oh no! Wow, it's ink tense watercolors. I've heard of these. Oh, ink tank. Yeah, ink tents. I think they're watercolors. Let's just see what else is in here first. Oh, I'm so excited. This is exciting. I've wanted into ink tent tents pencils for a while. So there's a graphite acryl 2B pencil that is very cool. So it's for a watercolor graphite pencil. Just refocus this. Um, there's a kneaded eraser, Kui Noor kneaded eraser. That's very cool. It has a water brush. And all right, where is the, wow, this is amazing. So the artist is Milky Rat and there's all their details and there's some tricks. It's actually watercolors. It looks like watercolors and I'll have a look at them tips and tricks later. That's beautiful. And here we have False Prayer as the scroller challenge and Derwent ink tents pan set ink tents formulation found in Derwent's pencils and block ranges oh this is amazing I've wanted to try their pencils and this is ink tents in block form I am very excited for this challenge um the last challenge the bullet journal wasn't as very much an art um, box and I'm very pleased that this one is different and here is what is this okay that's interesting paper it's very smooth I wonder if it's watercolor paper botanical ultra smooth watercolor paper 300 GSM made from 50% cotton okay very exciting so I guess I'll first get started by swatching out on the uh, here's the scroll box sticker Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Get started by swatching. Okay, so watching back that first section of the opening of the box, I was very excited to get these Inktense watercolour pan set. Um, I can say it now. I wasn't able to say it earlier. I was getting all tongue-tied, I think just because I was so excited to get them. Um, so I first started out by swatching as you've seen and then I started on the drawing. This was a really hard prompt. I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out what I was going to draw for this prompt. If you stick around to the end of the video as usual, um, my son has participated in this challenge. Um, so that's at the end. And so I ended up going with a snake around a cross. Um, I'm not sure why, but I had to Google and Google to try and figure out what I was going to do for this. And so I'm kind of happy with how this turned out. So these watercolors are actually ink watercolors, which is the same formulation that's in the Derwent Ink Tense pencils. So they work a little bit differently and the finish is a bit different. So they, when they go down, you can't lift the color off the page. And so you have to be careful where you put it. Um, and also the finish is kind of more matte finish than uh, the usual watercolors is. Um, I really enjoyed using them. The pigment in them is a lot stronger than uh, watercolors. They're probably on par with like a watercolor pencil, but even stronger, kind of pasty nearly. Um, and yeah, I really like them. I'm going to be using um, them a lot. I've actually tested them out in my Strathmore tan toned 
paper book and they work really well in that so I'm going to be doing some work in that with this um, and other than that there's not a lot much else to say about these they're just gorgeous paints to work with and I'm really pleased to be back doing art after the break that I've had and shifting around so I am really enjoyed sitting down and doing this piece first piece painted in my house uh, in my new house so yeah the needed eraser in this pack was really unusual it didn't really need very much it was actually quite hard and I really enjoyed being able to mold just a small part of it and use that because often a kneaded eraser is too soft to rub with rub out with because I know it's meant for dabbing so I really enjoyed using this kneaded eraser as I could just it was a lot firmer after I finished um, painting my and doing my sketch and painting this guy the snake I went over him with the graphite pencil that was provided just to do some outlining and some details on him just to make him pop out and I think that really helped And then I cheated a little bit. I actually uh, went in with a white gel pen and highlighted the little gems in the cross. I know that you're supposed to just use the items in the box for the scroll the challenge, but I did technically until the very end. So I, yeah, I still think I completed it. This was a tricky but fun scrawler challenge and I really love the supplies and I'm happy that I got this month's box. And this is my final piece. I'm really happy with how it turned out. The texture is really nice. I kept wanting to just like pat it and stroke it and just gorgeous. It's really gorgeous texture to it. And here's my son's piece. So he did a guy with a demon shadow, praying guy with a demon shadow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.